You and I are about to go to mini theater today because it is mini theater day, which means we get to go to a very, very smaller theater down in Amel. We're only allowed to go in as groups of smaller groups. It's a group already, a unit. But in that unit, you're subdivided into groups so that there are not many people in there. It's not really a big room like a normal theater. So it's groups of five, six, seven people at once. So one group goes in to observe one case. Another group goes in to observe the next one just like that. I don't know where I'm going to for. I hope it will be the first group because I don't want to wait so long. But that's what's happening today. And before that, we are having a class right now. So let's go because we're already late, like 10 minutes late, as always. I had a coin for each time I was ever late. But... I would have built my own hospital by now, just so I can go and come whenever I please. Um, without the need of any catheterization or any need of and Dr. Lester and the director Dr. C, the entire net of the urethra and where. So it's a special x-ray of the urethra with contrast from the person saying, what is the position? Can you see the pelvis? Mm -hmm. Any questions? We are now on our way to mini theater. Fortunately enough, we didn't have to divide ourselves into smaller groups because some people didn't come and other people forgot their scrubs, so there was less of us in there. Wait, you have to change into your scrubs? Yeah. yeah. For real? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's cute. There's a change. I mean, you can use the bathroom. I didn't bring my scrubs. Uh, sorry. Yeah, so I'm sorry. Yeah, so I'll, I'll see you on Monday. Okay, close the door for me. Sure. Thank you. You can come and change. Yeah, I'm changing. Yeah, I'm of these procedures took about an hour they didn't take time at all <laughs> so this girl carrying the instrument is actually a student that got to assist in the first procedure and all procedures were assisted by students this is a proud moment in medical school it is a small thing but it's really really something that makes you feel like you've done something productive with your life so the nurse is now preparing for the next procedure which means bringing sterile equipment which are these instruments that they're just bringing in because you cannot use the same one even if it actually didn't touch the other patient's instruments you still cannot use them because you've already opened it up and this is where the surgeon and the assistant scrub in and these are the only people that are allowed to touch the instrument We can assist too, but only for things like pouring in liquids, which is a, what I'm just from doing. That's normal saline. And also opening gloves, giving medication, also opening sutures. But you still have to stand at a distance because that is a sterile field. Oh, you too. Yes. yes. Oh. You guys are not. We are. <laughs> uh, no, the one we had during the lecture, the night, the evening We're done with theater, guys. That was it. It was two cases. <sighs> One was a vasectomy, the other was hydro suitcase, but it wasn't actually a hydro suitcase. So the good in a biopsy to go and see what else is going on. <laughs> it's unexpected. <laughs> Somebody saw my my plastic, so I'm putting this in uh, nets because I don't have anything else to use. We came late because of the class, oh. so we found the lazy guys already here. Oh, yeah. they left us. 
I don't know, bruh. I don't know whether it's in there. I don't know. But so we're already here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Whether we are 10 or 14. Mm -hmm. Let's go. It's all oh, right so. there. Levy. Oh. Eh, hey, university. <laughs> That's where you go. Where are you delivering? Yeah, okay, thank you. See you. So my next stop is going to be the library because I doubt I'll have time to come to the library during the weekend. It's a Friday, by the way. And it's not so much the time that I won't have. It's the willpower. I think that's the one I'll struggle with the most. Mm -hmm. 